global economic and financial crisis. What our governments are doing about it and what we ourselves as civil society are also doing. Already, a major flagship of our coalition, that is the Social Watch Report, has this year focused on this very issue of the global crisis. The title of the report has been People First, and it has been produced by over 60 civil society organizations around the world. Indeed, the report shows that the only way out of the current ecological and economic crisis is to devote resources to strengthening people's well-being. The Social Watch Report of 2009 was launched on Friday, September 28, 2009, at the UN Plaza in New York. While national launches have also occurred in many countries, including Ghana here, where our launch took place on October 7, 2009. Your Excellency, Madam Chair, Social Watch has a rich history and tradition, dating back to the 1996 as a leading network on social issues, including poverty eradication and gender equality at the local and the international level. The crisis of finance, poor and food, facing the world today, therefore provides social work with an opportunity to contribute to the formulation of alternative responses rooted in the human rights framework that puts women and men first. As Madam Chair has said, a human rights approach would call on reform of the international governance structure to ensure that all economic policies at all levels are carried out within that framework so that both women and men can benefit on an equitable basis. We know about the practices of the World Bank and the IMF, and yet at this period, we know that the crisis is actually being led by these institutions. What we of social work believe is that the UN as a source bearer of human rights should be the most appropriate and most legitimate forum to discuss the reforms that are necessary to restructure the international economic and financial system on a human rights foundation in a consistent and equitable manner. Madam Chair has already alluded to many of the problems that are occurring as, well, as a result of the global crisis and she has also alluded to the specific impact on women. And therefore, I will not belabor that point. What I would rather say really is that we must all be interested in ensuring that this assembly can work through the networking and coalition building efforts that we are so very much used to in response to the crisis. The program of the General Assembly has therefore been designed to ensure that, that apart from the plenary discussion, we have a number of thematic workshops on themes such as gender, the role of the United Nations, climate change, and so on. And we are hoping that the discussion will be a source of identifying and formative an alternative economic policy framework. The scale of the challenge, as Madam Chair has alluded to already, is huge. But as civil society, we need to utilize our faith and our capacity to contribute to the resolution of these issues in a committed and an effective manner. It therefore requires great efforts and discipline, but we can do it if we can act collectively as we have always done in the past through social work. I would therefore like to welcome all of you once again, and I wish this fall general assembly of social work a full success. Thank you.